Alright guys, welcome back to JForce Gaming and the reason why you click on this video is basically you want to know how to restore back your files. Alright, it could be due to you accidentally uh, deleted your files all right, or due to some corrupted data or even a virus attack. Alright, but no worries not because you are in luck and today I'm going to show you a 100% working way on how you guys can recover your lost file in a matter of a few seconds with just a few clicks. Now let's introduce Stella Data Recovery. All right, so I use this software to recover tons of files before. All right, and um, because you know, as a content creator myself, you know, there's a lot of data, a lot of different type of files format, different type of you know, um, add-ons, all this and that. And sometimes I might accidentally delete it without me knowing, or you know, there's a lot of like plugging and unplugging. You know, when you have a USB stick or an external hard drive, when you uh, accidentally unplug it without you know. Um, actually like you know removing it from the safe disk safely removing it you just actually unplug it or there's a sudden power loss and such with so many reasons to cause like you know data corruption so uh yeah so i use this software to recover tons of data and this software has really helped me save a lot of time so right now i just got to talk about oh, what this software does all right and later i'm going to do a quick demonstration on how it works and uh, yeah you guys can see for yourself how amazing this software does all right so as, as this software states it recovers any data any data type all right whether it is a virus attack, a corruption, all right, you actually formatted your drive, you deleted it, or all this and that, no matter what kind of file drive, this size you have, all right, all can be recovered, all right? And this, this software works on Mac as well. So if you're using Mac OS, you can definitely use this to recover your files, all right? Uh, and um, yeah, it works very easily. And yeah, in all kinds of fields, all kind of data, it can restore it. So I don't have any problems or run into any problems while restoring my files while using this software. So this is a really, really amazing software. All right, so now I'm just going to go into the demonstration to show you guys a bit of features of this software has. All right, and show it in real time. All right, and just a quick demonstration as well. All right, but before that, let me just quickly bring up my file explorer you can see it's on file all right if i go to my local dc all right this is the this drive i'm gonna use to demonstrate this is also where i store all my youtube data all right so um yeah this is uh, i have uh, created this test folder and inside this test folder as you can see there is a bunch of images text file and you know some kind of recording you know mp4 and some music as well so so i'm gonna now go ahead and delete this folder away so i'm gonna just click on delete and it is deleted let me just bring up my recycle bin all right so now this thing is inside my recycle bin folder and i'm going to empty it all right so this thing is completely gone forever you there's no way for you to get it back from windows at all so you know you probably be losing hope but let me just show you this software itself all right so i have this software right here and you can choose what kinds of specific files you want to uh you know recover because sometimes because maybe on this drive with like a few terabytes it might take uh, quite a long time to scan and if you want just want a specific file probably it's just like photos you right? you don't have to choose everything you can just select like photos uh, audios all right and uh all right and videos and, and whatever as extra you want all right you remember the test file that i just deleted that includes photos and audio all right and probably a text document probably under this document i'm not so sure all right uh, if it doesn't show up you can go uh, all data but i'm just going to do this for a quick demonstration all right but this thing actually scans really fast so you don't have to worry about you know taking very long time to scan all right so you can just scan all files just give it a few minutes and you'll be all be scanned all right so this is the this drive d that i uh, i deleted it so i'm gonna select the drive itself you can see all this all the drive that's currently i have right now just click on scan and it'll take some time to scan and it has been scanned so it is really really fast all right and you can see the recycle bin all right these are all the files that i have deleted although you cannot see the name like the test file but as you can see this is the um if you guys remember all this this is the images that um you know that was deleted remember and the recording 22 all right you can do a preview here as well all right apparently the text file so is not under document so maybe they will you maybe need to scan the all files to get back the uh, the text file that was deleted but you can see it is really it recovered every of the file that i have selected so yeah it is really really cool all right and uh yeah it's under the recycle bin you can see it's found all the 
or the files, right? And they have uh, different kinds of categories for you to choose from. There's a deleted list, which this shows just the one that you have deleted, and this is the only folder that I've deleted just now. And you can see all the files are all inside here. So wherever which one I want, I can just, just click on recover. You can just preview first, which is which is really really neat. All right, you don't want to recover files that you know you don't really want accidentally. So you know this is really really neat, and you can turn off preview as well if you don't want to have preview. All right, you can see the file type as well. All right, audio, document, photos, all well categorized for you, so you can as easily specific see what you want. And there's a cool part is you can search for a specific file. The one of the images that I deleted was Dark Souls, so you can see all the all the file that was in a drive that is located that has the uh, name called Dark. All right, so uh, yeah, it's really really cool. All right, you can see all the images, all this, you know, all this have it, it recovered. So uh, yeah, so that is really, really simple to do. Really easy to get back all your files without the need to, you know, figure it around. You know, some, some of the software that requires you to purchase additional, you know, items to get like additional features. But with this, you just get all in one, f with one purchase. All right, there's different settings for you to choose from to your own personal preference. All right, so you can configure yourself. All right, and they have you know you can re resume recovery and you, if you have something problem some bugs with this software you can just you know uh check with them and charge all right all this and that you know so it's very very simple all right and now you can save the scan information even better you can save the scan information so if you don't wish to recover now you can kind of just save it first so that next time you, you want to really recover it you know where you can find it so you don't have to research it again or rescan it again but for now i'm gonna just you know Cancel first, no. Alright, and uh, probably I go click on all, all data, alright, and show you guys one more time. Look at how fast this thing scans. Look at, look at this. This is happening in real time, alright. This is not, uh, I'm not speeding this up. Right, if you go to recycle bin, alright, uh, I don't know which one is this the one. Yep, so you can get back all the three files that I have. Do you see, remember all the five files I have here? All the images including the text file now it is back so yeah so if you choose all files you can find that all the five files are all inside here fully recovered even though you have deleted it from recycle bin you know and you can choose a deeper scan if some of the files you can't really find probably it's like if you deleted it like really really long time ago you can use the deep scan function to scan it all right all these files are more for a more recent one all right but if but if you have a file that you did a long time ago or you have an old old pc somewhere or a whole hard disk all right and you want to restore some of the old photos or memories you have with your family or your friends and such you can use a deeper scan to scan back all the old files that you deleted so it is very very helpful and it is very very easy to use and you can see everything's back you can see all my files everything some of the things that i deleted a long time ago so yeah it is that easy to recover and restore your files using this software right here all right, so if you guys want to check out this software right here, all right, the first link in the video description down below, go ahead and check it out and definitely buy this software for yourself, buy the license itself. It's very, very worth it, all right, and it just works so easily. And compared to other, other software out there, it may even cost more and, you know, you have to pay extra for different kind of features and charge, all right. And also sometimes, you know, um, other doesn't really work as well and it just probably just restore some of the surface data. So it doesn't it's just a gimmick, but this one actually really restore all the data. I have used it for many years and it works really, really well. It doesn't have any issues with it. So yeah, all right. And um, and one and the best part about this is you can also download for free to try out to scan your data. If you really want to restore it, definitely get a license. But you can try to find the files that you want. If you actually did find the files, just get a license. So it's free for you to try out first. And if you really you can find your files, which I'm sure it do it does, right? And you can get it for yourself. So um, so yeah. Once again, if you want to check out this software out here, go ahead and check out the first link in the video description down below, and go ahead and check it out and get a license for yourself. So yeah, that's it for today, guys. If you find this video really interesting and really helpful, give it a thumbs up and comment down below what um, if you are satisfied with it. And if you want more video like this in the future, let me know in the comment section as well. And uh, without further ado, this is J Force Gaming, and I shall see you guys in my next video. Peace out. I cry.